good morning Fred um, these are peanuts uh, no salt just peeled this is um, how I uh, most economically buy them uh, it's uh, around about 40 baht uh, for a bag like this and uh, I take a bag like this and uh, I put them in the, the grinder and then whiz them up and uh, they turn out as this sort of powder so this is the peanut powder and uh, I also buy uh, a, a similar looking bag like this but with oats and uh, these oats are just what you'd make porridge with and I grind them up as well and then we end up with a with a powder like this so every morning what I do is I take a, uh, a handful of the peanuts and a handful of the ground oats and I'll scatter that on the bird table whether it be on top of the bananas as a dressing uh, or whether it be uh, just as a uh, something to occupy the the doves and uh, give some protein to the birds some of the birds don't like this stuff uh, they tend to only like the fruit and vice versa so uh, I'm trying to give them uh, something for all tastes now in here uh, this is my basket uh, of uh, fruit uh, I've got a couple of uh, these are nearly ripe but not quite ripe I brought them prematurely uh, and uh, some bananas this bunch of bananas here was 10 baht so um, I got a bit of a deal there but um, I generally buy a sack of these or you know go to somewhere that's got uh, lots of nearly nearly you know unsaleable uh, bananas and uh, spend around about uh, 60 baht a week on bananas so um, with these uh, malagor papaya uh, I have also some growing in the garden but they're not ripe at the moment I've used all the ripe ones recently but um, I'm not going to use these today because they're not quite uh, ripe enough and they're not liking them. Well, I took some bananas and put them into this little tray here and uh, cut them up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to put those onto the bird table. Just to show you where the bees are, this is where the bees are over here. Look at them. Look at them in there, look. All quite happy in their hive on their hive should I say I don't know what to call that on their hive these are the uh, red dwarf beans I think people in the 70s and 80s will get a little bit of a joke there um, the uh, red dwarf was a comic sci-fi series so as you can see, these were the Malagor from yesterday. They weren't ripe enough, so therefore they've not been eaten at all. So I'll just throw those over the field there in case somebody might like them. And then I'll uh, tip the bananas half and half. And a little bit of powder dressing. scrub this with a, a wire wool because when you feel it it's uh, it's like a, uh, a slime that builds up on the uh, on the terracotta but, uh, I'll get rid of that water scrub it up and uh, replace it so that's all for today I'll show you the birds on the bird table as they land There we go, nice fresh water. I wish you a good Sunday and uh, thank you everyone for watching these simple little videos I make. Um, I enjoy sharing 
the view I see across my, my back garden. In case any, anybody uh, is unsure of the noises you're hearing, the hoot, 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 that's a, that's a kukul. Uh, that's the big black-headed, brown-bodied bird uh, with the red eyes that people see. Uh, they typically uh, skulk uh, around uh, uh, undergrowth and uh, walk through trees. It's quite interesting, actually, see them move. The, the, woo, woo, that's a coal and uh, the male is black and the female is uh, like a brown and black stripy thing, huge birds and they're part of the cuckoo family really and they lay eggs in other birds nests so in times gone by I've seen uh, black collared starlings um, actually bringing up one of their babies and this time of year they're courting and they're calling to each other uh, across the the area here uh, three four o'clock in the morning right now I've got uh, four different species of birds um, actually uh, pairing up uh, I've got some chats that uh, we see in the field out the back here uh, I've got some plaintive cuckoos I've actually got two pairs of plaintive cuckoos actually uh, I've got the robins which are actually making a, a nest in a box behind uh, the bird table here, they do it every year. And the, what was the, what was the other birds that I was gonna talk about? Um, well, there's loads of birds here. Anyway, enjoy your Sunday.